Hello everyone, I am Bets Golden. Welcome to the Gel Press channel. Today I want to make a mixed media canvas board and I'm going to use several different gel press plates to do so. This first one is an 8x10 and as you can tell it's not clean. I never clean my plates. I always like to leave them dirty. And I'm going to be using just some acrylic paint down, but as we go throughout the video, I'm going to show you several different types of mediums that you can use on your gel press to create just a mixed media piece. This is truly a playtime session for me, and it's more of an exploratory, so I hope that you enjoy watching this and it may give you some other ideas on a couple different mediums that you may have in your craft room that you can use on your gel press plate. So I'm just laying this down and if you get too much paint on your brayer, go ahead and just uh, roll it out on a scratch sheet of paper next to you and then you can continue to roll out the paint and pick it up so it's not so goopy. Now that's a tip that I understand that a lot of you may know, but some people that are new to gel press may not know that. So I like to share things that people who are just coming into the craft of doing gel pulling and things, gel press and pulling will benefit from. And the only way that they can learn it is if they hear it in a video. So for those of you that already know this, I know, but please let's just help out our newbies. And if you have any hints or tips, why don't you leave them down below in the comments? Things that are like best practices that you've learned with your gel press so that we can help those that are just getting into this art out. All right, so I'm going to first lay down my canvas to get that initial pull. And the canvas that I'm using is designed for mixed media, and I thought it would be fun to do a true mixed media canvas. So the first medium I'm going to use, obviously, is this paint, and I'm just going to press it down. It is an eight by 10 panel. I actually have to stand up and really give it a nice firm press and kind of wiggle it in there and push it in just to make sure that I have complete coverage. If you guys have not subscribed to our channel, please make sure that you go ahead and do so, hitting that notification bell so you're notified every time we have a new video come out. Also, if you have any questions or comments throughout the video, please feel free to leave them down below. We'll do our best to get back to you. And if you enjoy this video, make sure you give it a like and share it with anyone who you think may enjoy it or learn from it as well. Now I do have quite a bit of paint left over and I think that'd be a pretty cool pull. So I'm going to go ahead, put a scrap piece of paper down and just try to do a second pull on this gel plate. And then I'll go ahead and put my gel plate away. But it's always fun to do this. Sometimes you end up with some really cool pieces when you do the pull and I'll probably end up using it later on. What I like about this is check it out. It pulls up some of that green that's probably been there for months. So I'm pretty happy with that pull as well. All right, so now I'm going to be using two circles. One is going to be from this set. And then the other one is the four inch circle round. And in my, my the thing that's going through my head is Northern star. So like what's your Northern star? So that's my inspiration in my head that what I'm trying to capture, maybe, maybe manifest. So I'm going to start off by using alcohol ink on this bigger plate, the four inch plate. And I'm just going to put that down and I need to brayer it out just a little bit, kind of smoosh it around. And I'm going to layer up the colors. And I'm going to be working on two plates at one time just because the alcohol ink needs to dry completely before I actually go ahead and do the pull. I need to create a skin. And so I'm going to put down this first layer. And then once I get it to my liking, I'll go ahead, 
I'll set it aside and we'll work on that second medium circle. So this alcohol ink is the first different medium from paint that we use, so really it's the second medium, right? And then the, uh, the third one I'll show you in just a minute, but I just wanna let this, you know, I'm really trying to do a nice covering with these alcohol inks, getting those edges, but the more alcohol ink I have on it, the longer it takes to dry. So that's why I'm using the two circles for this particular piece. So as this dries up, I'm actually going to use some new lunar paste. This is a texture paste that has a gorgeous metallic shine to it by Simon Hurley. It came out in May and I just love it. It works really nice on my gel press. So I'm first putting down that gorgeous green and I'll have all these products listed for you in the description box down below if you're interested in any of them. And then I'm going to put down clear blue skies, which is a lovely blue. And I'm going to use the stencil to do that with. From here, I am going to just go ahead and do this first press. I like these little gel plates because they're like a hybrid of a gel plate and a stamp. So I feel like I get the best of both worlds. And I am gonna go off the canvas just because it makes it super pleasing to the eye. And now I'm gonna go ahead and layer on some more alcohol ink, but this time I'm gonna do it over the stencil. No. So as this one dries, I'm gonna go ahead and work on that other small gel plate. And for this, I'm actually gonna use my glossy sprays and you can totally use mist and sprays on your gel press plate. You just need to put down a heavy duty type medium. So I'm using a heavy gel uh, medium and this is also a sealer and a glue. So you do wanna make sure that you pull this from your gel plate, but it does give you some more playing time. So I'm just splattering on my first green color and then I'm gonna go through and mist my ocean and go back over it with that green until I get the intensity that I like. Oh, no, no. God, I'm sick of this waiting. You got me going crazy Now I'm finally ready to do this pull. This is completely dried, so I'm going to use some paint. A lot of people like to use white as the base for this particular project. I'm using the colors that I used in my original canvas pull on that eight by 10. And it just basically allows for the skin to be released onto a new substrate. So I'm very excited to see how this one turns out and I really wanna make sure that it's there. So I peek and if it doesn't 
hold, then I push it in a little bit more, as you can tell, and then boom, I peel it back and now I'm left with this beautiful, beautiful four inch circle alcohol ink skin. I go ahead and I flip it over and now I'm gonna use some Distress Oxide. This is a great thing to use on your plate. And I don't exactly like how some of these turn out right away. So I go back through and I re-stamp them on my plate a couple times, which is really easy to do with a gel press because the gel press is clear. So you can see through it and you can easily line up your stamps. going to use another paint on this but I noticed that I had a spot on the canvas that needed another circle and I wanted to showcase another type of medium that you can use on this. Dilution paint is a water-based paint so it's a lot thinner than an acrylic paint so I thought it would be fun just to try this out in a pretty lavender with the blue and just put it down right there in the middle of that and as you can tell I'm like ooh, that's not quite what I wanted so I go back in a second time and do it Now that I am done using my gel presses on my canvas, I'm gonna go ahead and put on those finishing touches. And so I am inking the edges in a black archival ink just to kind of finish off the piece. And then I'm gonna go through with an oil-based pen and highlight those circles and add some doodles. <music>
Now, I'm a big fan of splats, so I'm gonna go through with my glossy accents, or excuse me, my glossy sprays, and give a couple different splatters to this canvas in the three colors that I initially put down on that circle. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. I am Beth Scolden. I would love it if you would come over and subscribe to my channel. I do paper crafting videos as well as product reviews and then a lot of stuff with my gel press too. So if you enjoy this type of content and you like a whimsical, colorful type art, definitely follow me. I am also, um, I don't consider myself an artist, but more like a crafter. So my whole thing is I want you guys to be confident to pull your craft supplies out of your craft room and actually use them because if I can do it, anybody can do it. Until next time, I'm Bets Golden. Happy crafting.